Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our flawless run. Uh, that is Legendary Iron Man War of the Chosen unmodded, no mission lost, no soldier lost and if possible not getting hit. Time for Operation Frost Saga which is a straight up alien facility run. I could have just used the Reaper, kind of run it off screen, but I want to showcase how to do facilities in case you want to engage with them. We got a gatekeeper, elite specter, codex, so more than, and an Andromedon, more than enough reason for blue screen rounds. We're taking uh, part of the prime team because we want to level them. We take Wrath as uh, the Reaper here and um, Bastardo plus Synapse. Uh, for some more death from above action. Got the good stuff loaded, ready to roll. So let's let's get that party started. Alright. Landed and we're in full concealment, plus we got a fun lancer with us. Cute. Time for Wrath to go in and spot out where all of those nasty, nasty enemies are. Their patrol is coming. Good, of course, we want to get to the high ground with Bastard. Elite Lancer moves up. Let's do this. A5. And. Yeah, we're going to use. Moving to designated coordinates. The Icarus jump when needed. I tell you what. That's we're going to go over here. High ground isn't bad. Yeah, I don't want to engage them whilst they're up there. That might trigger another pack. And that in return will blow cooldowns unnecessarily. Good. Couple of turrets over there. And yeah, we're taking high ground with those who have death from above. Alright, look, that's a kill right there, and we can start uh, mm, triggering the pack. Good hit. It doesn't get more isolated than, than this place here. There's the blade storm. Okay, of course, down to 1 HP.
That's him is shot. Let's just fan fire him. Almost got him down. Moves up, kills him. Oh, really? Okay, let's try that again. Good, free reload. And let's just kill the shell. Good. Synapse is over here. Gets him down. And uh, that's a kill. You know that was good. Implacable gets back up. Okay, isolated kill. Next up, we're going to go for the turrets. Uh, there's an explosion uh, or remote startable location back there. Watch my back. Nope, not happening. Uh, there could could have been a tile where there is that uh, remote startable location, but it did not happen. I'm going. Moves to here. Hits a super heavy turret. Hard target, minimal damage. Turret doesn't know what's happening. Overwatch. You know what? Might as well go to here. I want to trigger that gatekeeper so we're standing on the ground. End of turn. Well, maybe the gatekeeper does want to trigger themselves. Placing explosive. Good, this should get you guys ready for death from above. That would trigger the other pack. I don't want to trigger the other pack yet. You know that was good. Um 
Um, how about we're just removing cover? And an easy way of doing that without explosives is to use devis uh, devastate or demolition, sorry. So a tree gone. Very nice. That will make the whole hitting so much easier. Never mind. Well, how about that? Overwatch. A protocol comes with threat assessment. Let's put that onto Bastard because the other pack might move in. We get a free Overwatch out of it. Overwatch. Overwatching. Overwatch. And we're Overwatching. All right. Complete shocker. We got another pack incoming. All right, shred it. Time to finally get some focus on our Templar. And time to get a little bit more exciting. Very good. Templar continues to move up. Moves to here. Move to here. A little bit more focus. All right, Bastardo reloads for free. Threats and marks this guy. I think 
the right uh, thing to do is hand over and the question is will that uh, kill two four six eight ten plus three barely not high ground for better hit chances okay Good. Even though he missed, uh, that got, got him to level, <coughs> which means it's a kill, even on minimum damage, which then leads into removal of the cover here. Or at least a reduction of the cover. And that's a kill. Overwatch. Absolutely. Overwatch. And Overwatch. I think it's only the turret left. Spreading it. Oh, we don't even have Shredder. Never mind. There's another pack back here. So let's not get too excited, shall we? Reload whenever we do have that spare action. Kill the turret. Ce la posso fare? Rolling out. Sono in allerta. End of turn. Going to take high ground, kill the last pack, and rescue the princess. All right. I will reposition an alien patrol. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Well, that's going to be fun. It's a much bigger pack than I would have anticipated. I 
Reload. Uh, that's free reload still. Yeah. Okay. If we hit this, that would be a nice grenade, plus fall damage. I don't see anything that is remote startable, maybe down here. Let me reconsider. Wait, wait, wait. Um, yeah. That changes things a little bit. Free reload. Um, good hit. I just have to wonder. We don't have an autumn superior stock. Uh, well, we do have a superior stock actually. It said superior stock. Okay. Never argue with XCOM. It's not worth it. Not good. Grappling. A blade storm if needed. Yet. Implacable. So this guy is dead. Rock. Amplifying. Fabulous damage. all of that lots of explosions I can handle that. menace 
1-5, status confirmed. X-4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. No problem, boss. Good. Let's jump down. That facility is so destroyed already. I think even if we wouldn't have planted the C4, like, you can't work with that anymore. Good, that was a fun mission. Hopefully we'll get a promotion out of it. The problem with uh, changing teams too often is at the end of the day you're splitting the XP onto too many different uh, soldiers. So if you're struggling with that, just focus on an A-team. But the problem with one A-team is the moment that you F it up, you will have a much harder time to recover. With the alien facility destroyed, their efforts to develop the Avatar project will likely suffer a substantial... Good, six weeks of no more uh, alien facility progress. We have so much income at this point. Not much is stopping uh, stopping us. It is just as I had hoped, Commander. Plus one damage on the shotguns. Fabulous. Lost would give us ultrasonic lure, gatekeeper, dromedon. Don't need a lot of uh, that. Might as well do that and uh, start the next time with uh, the actual that is an research because now we can go through the golden path missions we should be able to complete a more thorough analysis of the alien artifacts and data we can recover. yeah plasma blaster okay but not what we were looking for Fantastic. So, manufacturer upgrade. Don't need that. Poof. Um, Comet intelligence wouldn't be too bad. But I think we're just going for. the reduction in the avatar pro uh, project can use two of our soldiers that are reducing that to eight days uh, that way we can jam in as many missions as possible salvo will is an absolute game changer fantastic Good. For South Africa. Well, that's yet another mission. Good for us because we can continue. The uh, Golden Path mission will reduce the Avatar project as well, so that's not bad at all. Uh, the Kit and Stormwalker, that's great. Let's see what else we can take. Uh, my thing. Bastard uh, was good, together with Wrath. That's a great combination.
and now we need a specialist and a ranger setups and lyrical almost e everyone is already ready Good, going for the double Mimic Beacon style again. And that'll be it. Let's go, boys. Very good. All right, we landed. Let's take a good look. Standard VIP extraction. We're fighting alongside this road. A little bit of high ground here and here. So and here, grappling hooks are available. And we're starting it off with our scientist, and of course with the Reaper. <coughs> That's hopefully going to give us intel about what to expect. Good, listen, this is already in line Roger that. Uh, with being seen. No, 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 no. A good decision. Carefully moving up. Uh, with hopefully without triggering anything but the turret did not show as being triggered all right over here Good, listen. Fire pistol. Good hit. Shoot and kill for death from above. Good, turret problem solved. Moves up. Synapse can grapple up here, so that's fine. Lyrical and we're good. <coughs> this is going to trigger. Lightning reflex is likely. Yep. little hit. Once the red lightning reflexes are gone, it ain't that fun, ain't it? Oh, this looks like a remote st Nah, it looks like we're being spotted out. Still looks like a remote start. All right. Moving up, we're going to remote start uh, the purifier. Mainly because <coughs> the mech is already very fragile. Thanks to blue screen rounds and armor ignore. Look at that. One shot, almost down. Into Another shot down. 
free reload into another shot down we're taking space We got Blade Storm right next to that thing. And a fantastic shotgun to the face. Let's fill up some of our focus. Very good. Good listen, everybody else takes a nice little move forward. And Overwatch. I'm hearing a sector pod, somewhere from here, yeah. Good, nice little hit. Alejandro moves up. I think a standard grenade here would go a long way. But before we do that, um, I would like to take a good high ground. This here is not bad because we can see everything. Okay, that uh, solves the problem right there. A lot of it goes into the shields I could have fan fired, but then I would have needed to... Okay, should have fan fired first, removed all of the shields. It's alright. It's alright.
uh, could move to here. Potentially you want to move in. Let's see if we can take out the Andromedon. Good. Fantastic. Trigger a free action to reposition. Let's get the Cortex in range. Alright, bring it on. I'll just take the entire map. This is an option to clean house and we're going to do exactly that. <clears throat> Very nice. That'll remove the shields automatically if the guy goes down, which they will. Both of them indeed need to be set up properly and even though it looks wasteful that's exactly the setup we need. <coughs> Still free reload, yeah. Getting that mech. This here is the only guy who can actually follow up with us. Useless, useless, taken out. Uh, this codex here might still be a problem. Let's 
Let's go into full cover rather. Good, Elite Lancer will die. Thanks to Bladestorm. Maybe we do have a problem with uh, the um, with the stasis, but we'll figure that out in a moment. All right. Regain all action points. No. That's fine. Let's see if we can get the priest to attack the mimic beacon that would be something that means no stasis we got a mine shield so mine spin isn't working that one will hurt because Oh no, it won't. No sonic bomb. Fantastic. Good, mine spin. Well, we do have parry, so it doesn't matter. Either way is fine. Cool. High ground. One down. Uh, one more free relo reload, right? Yep. Okay. That's what I thought. Time to hit Are you. No. I'll get him next time. A little bit of shredding for good measure. Perfect hair trigger, free action. Might as well do our strike. Alright, uh, prepping. Fantastic. Into teamwork. Get the guy on high ground. Well, how about that? Still free reload, yep.
All right, this is Bladestorm right next to him. This might reveal us. Or not. At this point in the game, anything goes. Might be a crit. Nope. Well, we're still okay. There is the Overwatch. Lost some loot here. Too bad. Sometimes you can't get it all. Whatever you say, I will go. Alright, this is how you just pull the entire map and not care with end game equipment. Alright, did we get a promotion? <coughs> yeah, lyrical, but that's not the one I was looking for. <coughs> Want to get the main team promoted. Uh, what do we want to do? Assorted loot could be any uh, anything really, but it could also be a PCS, and we have little PCSs at the moment, so thanks to the non-existing black market, um, we have no way of spending intel and gaining uh, the superior PCSs. Updated our latest operational objectives, Commander. Very good. We've made initial contact with the resistance operatives working in this area, Commander. They're going to show us how to get into the alien forge facility. After this scan, Prime Team should be ready to to go in. Good, what else did we want to do, really? Ability points could be nice, but I was more after a promotion. Which there is none available. That is unfortunate, really unfortunate. Increase of combat intelligence could be more API as well. An additional scientist. Maybe mobility. Ability points and mobility. 
that would be good for the Templar, but point being Templar currently <coughs> is needed for invading the uh, the um, the next storyline mission. Sorry. So scientist, yeah, superior weapon upgrade. Mm, it's really not that much. This here could be okay. How many days until we get a eight? Okay. Tell you what, in that uh, case, let's get this here. Let's use our typical team, uh, Sonar and uh, True Rebel. They could be wo uh, wounded, uh, that doesn't really matter. Good, and we don't want to stall anything. I'll just immediately go <clears throat> for the next mission as it becomes available. You can, of course, try to stall longer and go into the end game, but you might have seen in the last uh, mission that, yeah, there's really hardly anything that uh, stops you at this point. Good. We're going in with very good equipment, of course. Roro has uh, Salvo finally. Plasma Blast is really not that good. But it increases mobility, so I mean, he's faster that way. Um, we'll just stick with a normal launcher. All right, looks like a good team to me. Let's go into the mission. Okay, I just realized guys that we are already at the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll use this as an outro and we're going to start a new episode right away with that uh, very mission. Thanks and have a good one. Bye bye.